the first one that I had I brought along, even though it will not fit anyone here, is a child cuff. Um, and the reality is it doesn't fit very many children either anymore. Um, so if you are tempted to choose a cuff based on the child's age, yeah, there you go. this one um, may not be an, an appropriate fit. So one way to, to check yourself if you, are, um, if you have ready access to it is to actually use a tape measure and measure the upper arm circumference and compare it to your um, to what's listed on your cuff sizes. One of the problems is that blood pressure cuffs do not come in uniform sizes. So the 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 when you say I used a small adult cuff, that does not mean that every small adult cuff fits 17 to 25 centimeters in arm circumference. So there are several ways to visually do this. Um, uh, one, uh, one way is to compare the bladder here, the bladder width, to the arm circumference. And in this case, for a cuff to be an appropriate size, bladder width should cover at least 40 to 50 percent of the circumference of the arm. It clearly doesn't for, for Kirsten uh, with this cuff. The other way to visually judge the sizing of your cuff is to compare the bladder to the, the bladder length, so the long part of the bladder to the arm circumference. And in this case, it should cover 80 to 100 percent. And again, a small adult cuff does not. Um, but for many of your, your kids, it, you know, even, we actually had a kid this week who was a little over two, that this was the cuff that, that fit. Um, so it might for children. Uh, so Kirsten, I'm anticipating, is going to be a more appropriate um, candidate for a standard adult cuff. And in this case, the bladder does cover approximately 50%. And the, the bladder circumference is certainly 80% and a little less than, than 100% of her, of her arm circumference. And the other comment that I wanted to make about um, cuff sizes is that it's not just the cuff size around the circumference of the arm. It's the cuff size relative to the length of the arm from shoulder to elbow or acromion to olecranon. Um, and it should cover, I've read various things, two thirds, 70%, 75%. But if you have a, a truly thin person, um, and, but they're very tall, Sometimes, even though the cuff seems to fit well this way, it may be too short, and it's still going to act like a tourniquet. Okay. And we have one more volunteer for the large cuff. And this is the large adult cuff, the one that's now required by um, 50 to 42 percent of young people. And again, you can, it's a little harder to see here, with, but this is probably about 50%. The arm circumference, the long part of the bladder is, again, I would say a bit over 80%. And probably more importantly is the distance from the, for the length of the arm is appropriate. So, question, our, and and again, Jane, would that be the sixty-seven to seventy-five percent of the length right. of the upper arm? Yes. And regarding the last figure, the eighty to below one hundred percent. 
when you 80 to 100 percent is bladder length. Bladder so length. Okay. Here is your your bladder. Right. This portion is bladder, which is kind of hard to see, right. but that's that's where. But it, it has that line, and actually a line on either side of it, I believe. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That this line is actually intended to tell you if most cuffs will try to tell you if you roughly if you're, you're cho choosing the appropriate one. So these lines are actually trying to, to tell you that you're in range here. But it, it is a, a good approximation of the bladder as well. Okay, thank you okay. for clarifying that. Yeah. So Jane. Um, when you have the really skinny armed kid, um, can you comment whether you um, would go ahead and choose a bladder that would overlap on itself to get the length of the arm? Um, it's, well, it's hard, I guess, if it truly overlaps very much. Um, but in general, our maxim is if you are on the fence about which of two cuffs to use, choose the larger, at least initially. Um, if you choose a cuff that's too large, you, you're less likely to get an artificially elevated blood pressure. And if it's truly too large, you may not get any reading at all. And then you'll, you'll be forced to, to choose the smaller. But when it, the take home message from our people is pick the larger if you're if you're considering either of two sizes, 